two weight classes. You must smash and fight ready assassin. Gas till I'm passing. I'm double leg I've been tapping him. Who was the first to bring the smoke straight to Adesanya? This 5'9 middleweight call me the brown bomber. So I'm gonna go over what uh exactly what over um Alex Pereira said here and, and to my best ability, right? In the post fight interview. He doesn't really ever call anybody out, right? But interessante para mim e seria interessante eu tenho certeza que vai ser para todo mundo é uma pessoa que é, de alguma forma me incentivou quando eu estava em um bar bebendo e ele em um vídeo falou que eu iria ficar em um bar mas ele me resgatou. What he's saying right here is he's never he's not a guy to typically call somebody out but he wants to call somebody out and this is a guy that uh, inspired him that posted a video saying that one day he'd be at a bar. Uh, talking about how he he beat him. Esse cara também falou recente que vai voltar só em 2027. And this guy also recently said that he's not going to come back until 2027. And the way that he rescued me, I want to rescue him. Ele é um talento. He's a talent. He can't be away from the sport for that long. Adesanya. He said, with all due respect, I don't want to do what Adesanya did with me. I had to fight a lot of fights to get to his title. I'm calling him out now. I want him to come and fight me. Come fight for the title. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, he, he was very respectful. He was uh, telling everybody how he wants to rescue the guy that rescued him, saying, uh, you know, he even posted a, a, a video recently saying how one day he'd be the guy at the bar telling everybody how he beat that guy one time. Uh, and so now he wants to rescue Adesanya, telling him that going out all the way till 2027 is a waste of talent. He wants to rescue him like he rescued him, tell him to come back. He doesn't want to do what Adesanya did and let him fight various fights to get to the title. He wants to do it now. He wants the rematch happen. So uh, that just lets me know that he's 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 still uh, kind of angry about the last fight a little bit. You know, he um, he's looking to have the rematch. He's uh, he's not happy about Adesanya having that last laugh. I think. But I also like the other approach where he's kind of, I, I mean, I already went through it. I mean, he's calling out the guy that rescued him and got him off the couch to get off the couch. And it's inspiring as hell. It's pretty cool to watch, and, and I'm grateful that he did it. What's up, guys? UFC 295 happened this past weekend, and it was an exciting night of fights. But before we talk about it, gotta thank Jimmy Bars. They're available in every Walmart across every U.S walmart location so go ahead and get your jimmy on none of this would be possible without jimmy bars so go ahead and get your jimmy bars and follow them on instagram at jimmy bars hey so ufc 295 happened this past weekend guys it was an exciting night of fights i mean i enjoyed the whole night uh, i had plans since I'm in camp, I didn't go out and watch the fights with my friends. They're hitting me up. Where are you at? I'm at home watching the fights, enjoying, kicking back, laying back. Uh, and uh, I had fun. I had fun just watching them at home. And, and it was an exciting night of fights. Big fights brought to the Big Apple. I remember fighting myself at the Madison Square Garden against Darren Till. And it was, you know, same thing. President Trump was there. Kid Rock was there. The Rock was there. Uh, I mean, the Big Apple brings out the biggest stars with the biggest names, the best martial artists, and some of the best fights of the year happened this past weekend, man. And uh, obviously, that big one, main event, that was the one I was looking forward to the most. Um, Jiri's actually been out to Arizona to train with us, and he's, you know, he's he's an acquaintance that we know, and uh, he's a very nice guy, an extremely humble and uh, special martial artist, as we can all see, right? But um, he couldn't put it all quite, couldn't quite put it all together out there for for against Pajera. Um He's very unorthodox, very loopy. I still think he's going to get a lot better. Uh, and he's always so he's already so good, right? He's so unpredictable, but I think he needs to slow things down a little bit, get some fundamentals in boxing, get some fundamentals in distance, in timing, in control. 
uh, because his 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 style is is very unorthodox. It's very special, you know. But I feel like he maybe needs a little bit of that boxing distance timing control uh, uh, added to his game. Because if he does and he learns how to control that even better, more so than he already does, man, the sky's the limit for this guy. I mean, I'm a big fan of, of that style. I mean, he is a true martial artist. The guy can do it all. I um, mean, and, 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 and you won't see it coming, you know. Uh, but uh, the man of the hour was Alex Pereira, you know. And, and to be honest, I've uh, been around Alex a few times. I like him. Uh, he has some the most kind approach. Uh, when you approach him uh, as a person, and you see uh, that big giant in front of you, he has a very kind uh, demeanor to him. And um, so I was very happy to see him win. I was very happy to see him succeed. Uh, this was, you know, he's what, the, the, the ninth, I think, champion uh, to hold two belts in two divisions. And, and the, ninth, the ninth UFC champion in history to hold two belts in, in two divisions. And that's... That's incredible, uh, you know, uh, considering the limited amount of fights that I've had in the UFC. Most of them have been uh, against, you know, the best of the best. And he's beaten already a lot of champions in just a short amount of time. And it's incredible what he's done uh, in just a very short amount of time. You know, he's already a two division champion uh, in the UFC beating some of the biggest names and, and and most toughest competition that there has been and he's already man it's just incredible i'm 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 without words because uh this is not an easy feat to do and uh, i was happy to see him succeed i'm happy for alex behera and his team Gloria Teixeira. they seem like the coolest dudes they seem like a great duet and i uh, was happy to see them succeed you know Pereira just maintained his focus um, even when he was on the ground, you can see little improvements that he's made, you know, defending, keeping a close guard, um, you know, little things that uh, he's done to improve. Uh, but at, at the same time, you haven't seen a whole lot of his game change. You see him just defending and going to those calf kicks uh, and throwing that left hook, right? But And uh, I think that's what dropped Jiri, right, in the first place with that initial... Uh, overhand he kind of covered came back with an uppercut and uh, a left hook that dropped jerry and uh uh man i thought it was a good stoppage people thought it was a, a bad stoppage i thought it was a good stoppage uh mark gutter is probably one of the best referees in the game that we have right now we are blessed to have him in there with us because he's looking at little details that people at home or in the audience can't see so i i'm I'm very grateful Mark was in there uh, watching this fight because, hey guys, if you're taking these these elbows to the to the side of the head like Jerry did and you're out unconscious getting mounted, what do you think is gonna happen? The guy got mounted, he was gonna get brained on, elbowed on, it was gonna be hell to pay, and that would have been unnecessary damage to Jerry when you know that he's out. And um, I think Mark did a good job on the stoppage. And I think people thought it was a little early. I don't. I think uh, Mark sees things that we don't. And I think um, uh, I agree with the stoppage. So even uh, Jerry came out, in, I think, in, in, later in his Instagram or his Twitter, he came out with a, with a statement that said it, he was out. Right. So it, it was definitely uh, confirmed and assured by Jerry himself that he was out. His body was reacting, but his mind wasn't there, right? So I agree with the stoppage. Congratulations to the new UFC light heavyweight champion, uh, Alex Pereira. I mean, this, I mean, I even like the uh, the post-fight interview. The post-fight interview, I think, um, didn't get enough credit because of the bar of the language barrier there. But, um, uh... I think, uh, to be honest, the translator botched the translation a little bit because the post-fight interview motivated the hell out of me. It was such an incredible post-fight interview by uh, by Pereira. He, what he did was uh, call out Arasanya, right? And I think Arasanya took that in the wrong way. Um, 
just because of the language barrier there but i understand portuguese i speak portuguese i speak the language and i've trained with a lot of brazilians over the over the last 10 years so uh, i understand the language now and i'm pretty fluent in it and so i understand what he said what he said was was uh, uh I, I i can't say this word for word not off the top of my head but uh what basically what he said was like hey i want to inspire the guy that inspired me to get off the couch and that was adesanya so adesanya you're taking too much time off i want you to come back i want you to fight me and uh and we can make this rematch happen and uh and, and i thought that was pretty inspirational you know he wants to inspire the guy that inspired him and, and thinks adesanya is taking too much time off and, and that it would be a waste of talent and um you know what i like this approach i like this this call out um uh, in the rankings obviously it doesn't make sense but it, damn it it motivated the hell out of me you know because i know I, I felt a little bit of what Alex Pereira felt that night. He was inspired by Adesanya. Adesanya has inspired me. And now Alex, on the other hand, has inspired me with this, uh, with his approach. You know, um, and he, he's a man that, ha that has stated what he wanted to do. He went out there and did it. And, um, you know, no excuses. He went out, he went out there and he's become a two division UFC champion. That's inspirational as hell to me. And so uh, thank you, Alex, for, for what you've done in the sport and uh, for, you, for, for, for the way that you are. Uh, he's a very stoic, calm uh, demeanor to him. Uh, but if you approach him, man, he's the kindest human being that you can possibly meet. I'll tell you what. Uh, and so uh, this, th it was a pretty cool post-fight call out. I think the, 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 the translator botched it a little bit because... Uh, the approach was different. I think Adesanya might have took that in a different way, but uh, it was inspirational as hell to me, man. I mean, he wants to inspire the guy that inspired him to get off the couch. And so I thought that was cool. And that about wraps it up for UFC 295 recap, guys. Thanks for joining in. Please subscribe to the channel. If you can, it helps out a ton. And re please remember that none of this would be possible without jimmy bars go to jimmybars.com they're available in all walmarts across all u.s locations so please go ahead and get your jimmy on